Christian. They open up. They don't even put anybody in the paint. Five on the outside. And the first three ball off the mark. Rebounded by Rasek. And the putback beats the shot clock. And that's key for Creighton. Can they create extra scoring opportunities? Because this is a real good But Monica Sano is a really good post player. And there is the Iowa starting five. So you've got Clark and Sonato. Both 20 point scores. Rasek is wide open inside. Assisted by Tatum Wimbaugh. And the quick counter. That's Iowa's game. They love the transition is going to be Monica Solano. She's a matchup issue for Creighton when they are on defense, but she is a player they need to try to exploit with a five-out motion. And an opportunity again inside. That's Batchelor with the bucket. Clark hits down the deep three because she can stick them from the logo. Creighton tries the counter and the tip will get them an extra look and right back to this is an area that they feel like they can create more offense for the Blue Jays today. Clark working inside the Sonano. Hit a three-pointer in their first round win over Illinois State. When they scored 98 points, they are the second leading scoring team in the country. Not only do they shoot the three well, they are the best passing team in the country. Tremendous ball movement for Creighton. Number one in assists. And Brodsky gets the assist from Rembrandt. Had a preseason scrimmage. They're familiar with one another. Not really sure who feels more confident because they had that scrimmage. But there was no intimidation factor by the Blue Jays whatsoever. Ty Rowe, terrific off the bench. 13 points in their first round win. Clark with a third different defender on and so well scrapped, scouted. Creighton was playing her for the drive, so she knocks down the jumper instead. Taken away by Tyro. Always got to locate Clark in transition as Wilson gets a big block. Leading scorer in the country. Trying to get a second body to her. She finds Sonata, and there's that vision. And a big reason why she leaves the nation in a six as well as points. Jensen will try again and hit it. Another offensive rebound. The kick out, Jensen. Get out for three. Well, Mogensen's now going to have to be able to stay on the floor. She was such a great score for Creighton. That's the defense and offense they're going to need. For Creighton, the ball hardly touches the floor. Everybody getting in on it. Off the bounce, Jensen will pull up. Elbow J is good. 50 minutes that she's played in their first two games. Molly, the left-hander, got it. Executive setout dating back to their regular season finale when they beat Michigan for a share of the regular season title. Clark coming off the screen for three. Logansson spins and knocks it down. Rebounded by Tyro. Here comes Caitlin Clark. Step back, three. Got it. Dodged the bullet there. I bet people will think that Caitlin Clark's just about putting up shots. Last two trips down. And there is the first bucket by a different Hawkeye, not named Clark or Sonano. She's able to get downhill because the defense shifted towards Clark. Clark with the block, behind the back in traffic, Caitlin Clark, the dish to Warnock for the winner. Clark off the curl, the skip. Gearbox drives baseline for the winner. It's Clark number 22, Sonano number 25, the big guns. They both average 20 points per game. And immediately, Sonano gets a touch. Tatum Rimbaud, the kick out. Emma Ronsick, their leading scorer on the season. How about the day for Brodsky? 
You got two ways to go, right, Christy? You can feel totally dominated by this crowd, or you can do what Clayton's doing. Sonano, she loves to turn over that left shoulder. Heck of a box out by Blacksby, and that allowed Molly to get to the loose ball. Rembao, Ronsick on the run, spinning and scoring. Molly for the second time today, tip it to a teammate. And then Tybo got the steal. Morganson three, good. They'll have to get into their regular set. Rembao, terrific backdoor, Kowansik with the layup. Wide open sell. And it's the ninth assist for Caitlin Clark, one shy of a double-double. Jensen working that screen to perfection. They read the defense so well and tear you apart. Sonato says, I can turn to the left side, too. Morganson for three. Tip back out. Rembao wide open, run to the rim, and she lays it in. And Sonato off of countless screens. This time, Molly pops out, but can't get it to go. Here comes Clark. Three on two. Marshall, trail, triple. Speaks to just how unselfish Caitlin Clark is. Leads the country not only in scoring but in assists. Back to back, and there is Clark. Sonano going to work. Shot clock's down to ten. Under five minutes to go. Rimbaud. Jensen on the drive, and the Iowa transfer lays it up and over. Looking for, and well, the pass leads her away from the basket. Back inside, the double, the dish, one. Molly's number 30, right here. She and Jensen, 15, are their two biggest deep threats. And Jensen hits one. Sonano's got it. Spinning. Weak side. One on the Jensen on the drive. Back to a two-point game. And back. Jensen's able to get to the rim because, as you said, all five players on the floor can make the three, so no one rotated. Sonano misses. Looking for Sonano. Can't get it there. Martin will try to put it up. Shot clock is off. Michael Flannery not calling timeout. Rimbaud back to Jensen for the lead. And she's got it. Timeout, Iowa. It's the Hawkeye transfer. To her home. Homecoming back to Harvard. Hawkeye has scored the last nine points for Creighton. None bigger than that three-pointer. They got the look that they wanted. Jim Flannery was screaming for that play from the bench. Clark off the bounce. They choose not to follow. 